Hi, this is Paul Hart from the saxophonist.org, and I'm here with a play test and review of the Retro Revival Super D tenor saxophone mouthpiece. You know, I'm fortunate enough to be of an age where I can remember uh, the existence of great vintage auto link mouthpieces in the 70s and the resurgence that has existed of the classic auto link. Um, I remember when Joshua Redman was doing his national tour as the winner of the Thelonious Monk competition and he was playing on an auto link mouthpiece and suddenly every mouthpiece dealer you could find was sold out of auto link mouthpieces. I remember being at a saxophone uh, conference at the University of North Texas and the great Chris Potter was there and somebody raised their hand and asked the patented question what do you play and I can't remember what he said I remember he said it was an auto link but maybe it was like a nine or an eight or whatever it was that he plays and he says I bought it at Rod Baltimore Music <laughs> so as a joke I called Rod Baltimore Music the next day and I said I'm just curious how many phone calls have you received about auto link mouthpieces in a certain size and the guy goes what's going on you're like the the 30th call today so you know when great players play great mouthpieces um, mere mortals think that it's the mouthpiece that's going to make them sound like the great player well I fall victim to that I'll admit I've owned a lot of auto links and I've owned Florida auto links I've owned um, uh, four stars I've ordered, uh, owned tone masters uh, all with the sound of that classic link and I remember the great Dennis de Blasio said, there's no mouthpiece that feels like an auto link. There just isn't. Well, it, that's true. But, you know, if you were have fallen prey to the allure of a metal auto link, you know that it comes with some baggage. Um, they can be very picky when it comes to reeds. Certain registers of the horn may not respond all that well. Um, I remember I had a Florida auto link that I really love. Oh. A Florida auto link that I really loved, but it took what I call the Holy Grail read. And what that means is to the right of the pot of gold that you find at the other end of the rainbow is a reed. And only that reed will work on that mouthpiece. And if you have that reed for a brief, you know, it's like the solar eclipse we just had. It's a brief period in time. That reed will work and you sound great. And the rest of the time, you will be beating yourself up trying to find something that works. Well, I'm happy to say that uh, Retro Revival has gone through their um, tremendous collection of mouthpieces and made a copy of a double ring um, auto link. This one is gold plated and there is the New York model. So it's a little bit uh, darker. They also offer a rhodium plated model with a little bit higher baffle, more like the Florida link. Um, if you love auto links, um, you are going to love this mouthpiece. I got to remember that these aren't auto links. These are retro revival mouthpieces. And that's very important to, to, to point out. But you forget it when you're playing it. If you can see here, if you remember anything about auto link mouthpieces, this is it. In fact, on our website um, of the review, I took a picture of a friend's double ring auto link, and this uh, Super D. And they look identical. Uh, the sound, it's a classic auto link sound. It has depth, it has smokiness, it has punch, and it has flexibility. Um, one of the things I like about it is maybe something you might not like. Um, it is a little bit more resistant than, let's say, the slant signature or the true slant version uh, from Retro Revival. But I like that feedback, and it, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll give you a little demonstration. Uh, you can produce a tremendous amount of power. You can spread it out. The subtone is really easy. But you can voice your normal voicing. Uh, this is this is important. Uh, so often on auto links, um, I've had to change my throat voicing 
or many players will go into a subtone and you'll hear this. Because they can't go. Now, I'm going to try to do that as soft as I can. I'm barely putting any air into the instrument. In fact, I don't really play that spread in that in that um, in that little of air column, but it takes it. Um, it's a lot of fun to play, uh, and you can get a variety of colors. <laughs> It's, it's great. Um, as you can imagine, it, it packs a lot of punch and it has a lot of center to it, but it has a wonderful, rich set of overtones. Uh, the articulation is very easy. I can get a variety of articulations. Um, and most importantly, I sound like me. I don't feel like I'm being channeled into a certain sound. You know, that's one of the things I hate, is that you um, will sometimes hear mouthpieces that are really great, but they kind of focus you into one way of playing. I have the flexibility to do whatever I have in my mind. Uh, that's probably a very important point I've made on other mouthpiece reviews, and that is, if you have a concept, if you know how to produce sounds on your instrument, if you're a craftsman of, of the saxophone, then this is going to be an excellent mouthpiece for you to look at. Um, if you're looking for a mouthpiece that is going to make a bad sound a good sound, make a bad tone into a good tone, save your money. There's no mouthpiece. I mean, the guys at Retro Revival are good, just like Jody Espina is great at Jody Jazz and all that, but guess what? They can't make mouthpieces that make bad players good players. So. First thing that you want to do is if you want to find a good mouthpiece, you have to make sure that you're working on the concepts you want. And if you've worked on them and you have a tonal imagination and you know what you want out of a mouthpiece, check out the line from Retro Revival. In fact, if you want to check out other reviews that we've done of our Retro Revival mouthpieces, you can see video reviews on our YouTube channel and you can see a review of five Retro Revival mouthpieces on our website at www.retrorevival.com. TheSaxophonist.org. Retro Revival. Check them out.